This video is um, about uh, developing a custom uh, title block uh, for a page. I'm going to be uh, looking at uh, the ways to customize this to the particular application that you have and uh, how to save it. First step here is to open a new page and uh, then we're going to zoom in on this page until we're seeing sixteenths of an inch. Scroll over to the lower right corner but we're going to choose here to uh, go with a three and three quarter inch by one inch block. So I'm going to draw the exterior of that right now. And then we're going to put some uh, separate divisions into this title block. I'm going to start out uh, the uh, first one. Title block like that. Drop that into the top. We're going to uh, customize this a bit. The next block a little bit smaller. And drop that in here. And then one more. And I'm going to put in some uh, title block spaces for um, things such as the uh, date, the author, and that sort of thing. So we'll go and do a copy of this. Let's shrink that down a bit and drop one of those right here. And another one. Now you can make these any size that you want. These are ones that uh, work particularly well. Uh, most of the work that I've done. So I'm going to uh, drop these in. We're going to uh, pick an appropriate size for each one of these blocks. And then you can, of course, as you do these, you can do them any particular way. Uh, and that works well. And each size um, custom set. Put two blocks in this particular rectangle right here. Now I'm going to take a look at the whole page, and we're going to do uh, one additional uh, outside border. We're going to take that rectangle and set the fill to uh, no fill so that it's transparent. And zooming back in on this a bit, I'm going to move the uh, title block as a whole down into the lower corner of the page. Like that. Now, the next step here is to establish some layers, and these will be very useful, uh, particularly for locking down these items. And we'll be using that in the next step of producing this. So I'm going to go up here to uh, Layer Properties, and I'm going to set up a new layer for uh, Border. And then I'll set up a new layer for uh, Title Block. Additional layer for title text. I'm going to set up uh, the border and the title block to have a uh, dark blue color. to select these items. First I'll select the border and set that to the layer of uh, border. And then I'm going to select the entire uh, title block and assign that to the title block layer. This is an important uh, thing to do because at this point I'm going to go and uh, go into layer properties and I'm going to lock the border and the title block. 
So now these are not selectable. So we're going to zoom back in on this and uh, two different things. Uh, I'm going to label a few of these blocks as to what goes in them, but then other ones I'm just going to put text fields in. And uh, so I'm going to start out by putting some text in for the top, project name. Then uh, we're going to uh, select that uh, text block. the extents of it to the size of the place we're trying to fill up here. Um, and take this text block and copy it down into this location. Take the text in this and uh, take it down to uh, 10 point. And we'll copy this one down. This one will be um, drawing type. Of course, anything can go into these fields. Uh, I'm going to call this one. Um, specifics. Then uh, change the size of this text block a bit. And put a block for uh, scale. Then um, we're going to put uh, a date in down here. We'll put um, here a uh, code. Maybe for some sort of a project code. And then we're going to put a somewhat larger field in here for a sheet number. We'll take that field and increase the size of the text a bit. And bold it. That'll be a place for a sheet number. And then finally we're going to go and label two of these fields. So we're going to uh, select this one, uh, unlock that layer for the title block. And here we're going to label this um, change date. And that's a little large. I'm going to shrink that down to a uh, six point size. And then uh, I'm going to go to the text block tool. I'm going to make this a bit smaller. And then we'll do the same thing. Over here, call by. This will be, of course, who the changes are by. To a six point size, again to the text block tool, uh, and make that a bit smaller. I'm going to go back and uh, relock that layer. And that was for the title block. Now each one of these fields is uh, selectable, so we can go in and, and change these as needed. And that pretty much shows us all the areas we're looking for. We're going to take a look at the whole page here. and. Uh, now what we're going to do is save this as a template. So we're going to uh, go to Save As. And, uh, we want to save this in uh, Templates. Then we're going to uh, close this window and uh, go to File, New, New Drawing from Template. And it'll list our template right there. Double click on that and we're ready to go.